Welcome to this freeform feature video discussing Surface Lattice. This tool is brand new to version 2025 and it is designed to create a 3D curved network that is a lattice that will conform to the surface of your model. The curves will create a Voronoi pattern so it will have a cellular look to it and this tool is only going to create the curves. It's not going to create geometry. You can find this in the Curves palette, the icon for Surface Lattice, and as you can see, there's a lot of options in this tool. The first and easiest way to create a Surface Lattice is to simply paint a selection, set the desired curve length, which I will describe in one moment after I click Preview, the curve length is going to be the average length of each side of one of these cells. So it's not that the cell itself is 4 millimeters across, it's the average length of each side. I will clear that preview. This tool supports having multiple selected regions, so I can paint a few areas, preview and we get cellular structures previewing in each of those. If I click apply, it will generate 3D curves for those areas. That is great for a model like this, which is solid, but if we have a model that has been shelled like this, which allows for having the other details that we need for a bicycle seat. You may not be able to make a selection because this is a thin model, so it would paint through to the other side. Here, we can use 3D curves as a bound region. So if I turn on the padding curves that I've already drawn, those are fit to the top surface change my mode and pick my curves, select the seed point tool and set a seed point inside that curved loop area, and preview. That creates a very nice looking lattice, but I want something a little less uniform. We have density zones, so you can define a region by a zone size, which is going to be an area around the point that I select, and it will create more lattice cells in that area. So with a scale of two, it's going to create twice as many, twice as many in the region I pick. So if I pick back here, I have a radius of 20 millimeters, and I click Preview. You can see that there are more cells in this region, and there is a nice smooth transition. There is no limit to the number of regions you can have. You can create a variety of them of different sizes and scales, and they will all interact with each other. And something like this, you can very easily turn into real geometry. Things like this do work better if you fit the curves to the surface. And I will use the ridge tool. Create this as a brand new piece. And there you go, we have a beautiful new piece of geometry that can be added, combined into this model, or can be removed from. The choice is up to you. There is one more thing that this tool can do, and using Surface Lattice, you can create regions with curves. If I place my seed point anywhere outside of these closed loops, which is still technically within this one master perimeter loop, I can generate 
a surface lattice that is in between all of those regions. So as long as all of them are selected, and I set the seed point, so clicking each of these with the control key, setting the seed point. The computation does take a little bit of time, and I've already done this ahead of time, and this is the result. So there is a lot of power available in this tool. Not only can you fill regions in, you can choose areas you want to exclude. You can have a variety of scales to the lattice within a certain region. And then once you have those curves, you can create them. You, you can turn them into geometry using the pipe tool, the ridge tool. You can create anything you want from them. Thank you very much.